I just got back from a morning spent at the District 6 Museum, where I got to learn about our rich cultural history. I also got to sit and chat with Noor, who told me some funny, funny stories about the good old days. We also got to chow some samosas. And in fact, it's inspired me to share this gewone recipe with you. First, we've got to get our filling on the go. So, I'm gonna pop on my heat and get my mince into this pan. And you want this to remain nice and dry, so if little bits of mince stick to the bottom of the pan, not a problem. It's just really gonna add to all of that delicious flavor later. Then we're gonna add our dried spices, cumin. And then I'm gonna add my turmeric, which adds such a gorgeous golden color to my mince. Some coriander. And then I'm gonna add my garlic and ginger. Perfect from the Frick and Pay Cooks Editions range. And then chili for heat. Time to season with some salt. And then the juice of half a lemon. Cut this at an angle. Just makes it easier to squeeze. We'll get lots of juice out of this. Just watch your pips. Make sure your heat's really low. If you add your onions when your heat's too high, they release moisture. And remember what I said earlier? Dry mixture. Our onions are starting to take on a gorgeous color. I'm just gonna let this cook for about three minutes. I'm gonna take this off the heat. I'm gonna add our butter. Also our garam masala, our fresh coriander. This is where you really get to smell the fresh aromas coming through. One final stir. And then I'm gonna set this aside to cool before we start folding our samosas. My mince has cooled down and I'm so excited to start folding my samosas. First, better get my oil hot. You wanna fill your pot about halfway. I've kept my samosa pastry under some damp kitchen towel. Just prevents it from drying out. Your samosa pastry can be found in the frozen section of your pick and paste store. I'm gonna brush this with melted butter. This will help it seal, but also add moisture during the folding process. And just a little bit of your mixture into the left-hand side corner of your pastry, and we're just gonna fold over. You want it to form a triangle, making sure all of your corners are tucked in. And there you go, samosa one done. And then you're just gonna repeat this process until all of your mixture's used. My samosas are ready to fry. I just wanna check that my oil's at the right temperature, so I'm just gonna drop one for now. You'll see how the skin starts to bubble and it starts to flow to the top. Just make sure you don't overcrowd the pot. You don't want the heat of the oil to drop. And once those edges are golden, we want to turn it. These are going to be delicious. I'm going to pop it onto some kitchen paper just to drain the excess oil. These look amazing. I think they'll be great with our homemade chutney. Click here to get the recipe so you can try them at home too.